Oh yes, I think it's time. Oh yes, it's so big. Two weeks later than I would have liked, but it's still here. It's just a box of toys. It's so much more than that, you wouldn't understand. Fellas, welcome to the August haul of 2021. This box is so big, this other box can literally not be seen. Guys, I bought a bunch of August 1st sets, and before um, you get too excited, no, I did not buy the gunship. I'm sorry, I know. I'm not a true loyal LEGO Star Wars fan. I, I get it, I'm sorry. But today we're gonna be unboxing and looking at all the sets I bought in this month. And I know, this month isn't over yet, but I have no more money now, so. We are, we're done for a little while, so this is all I'm going to be getting for the month, and let's take a look at it. Before we get into this big fella here, we're going to take a look at this, because I'm curious to see how these are packaged inside of here, because it's a 4-in-1 set, and I want to see this swag. Alright, just as I suspected, it's literally just these four boxes inside of this big box guys the best part of the entire set is the swag the swag it's mmm the swag well fellas what do you think that moment when you're just really swagalicious I feel like this was made for someone smaller or younger than me for some reason guys if you're having problems with the ladies just pick up one of these like look at this it's amazing anyway enough of that let's get on to the big box here Here we go. Let's see what's in here. Well, I mean, I know what's in here, but you, you guys don't know what's in here. So at the top here, you can see right away the uh, Everyone is Awesome set. I'll be doing a bit on this set later. Cool set. I love the monochrome minifigures. Very cool, very cool. Ooh, that tells me how much I spent. I don't want to look at that. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Well, in the words of Director Krennic, oh, it's beautiful. I don't even know where to start here. First off, probably one of the most notable sets here is the Bad Bad Shuttle. Oh, I've seen it in a few stores since I ordered it, and I was really tempted to buy another one, but it's good. It's here now. I'm very excited to build this one. There's a little dent in the front of the box, and I don't know if that was my fault or shipping, but whatever. It's not a huge deal. Next up, we have the Mandalorian Starfighter, which is a fantastic set. The minifigures are amazing, the build is really nice, and there are some neat play features on the back. Really nice box art as well. We have the LEGO Ideas sailboat, probably the best LEGO promo we've ever gotten. I mean, look at you get dolphins, two minifigs, a sizable build, 330 pieces. And unfortunately, if I'd planned it out right, I could have gotten two of these, but I didn't do two separate orders, so, well, whatever, it is what it is. And we have the Duel on Mandalore set with, of course, another Ahsoka, because we need a lot of those. We love to army build with Ahsokas, don't we, boys? There's that really nice mall containment prison there, which just looks really nice, so really happy to build up this set. And we have the Marauder, which is... A weird little set, it doesn't look that nice, but it's very accurate, and it has so many play features. Um, it, the back of the box doesn't give it justice for how many compartments open, and of course, what a beautiful boy. The only other non-LEGO Star Wars set I bought was Bro Thor's new Asgard, because look, look at him. What a sexy boy. Also, um, this man here, I can't remember his name. Yeah, Korg. Korg is a very pog-looking character. This is the first Marvel set I've ever bought with my own free will, so that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, the box is swelling. That's okay. We're just gonna move past that. And lastly, we have Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser. What a massive set. Pretty nice build. I'll talk more about that when we live stream build this at some point, but this set is going to be an awesome one to build. Well guys, here's everything we got in this month, and my goodness, there was a lot of boxes here now that I set them all up. Really cool sets, a mix of Star Wars and non-Star Wars sets. All of them are very cool, however, but of course, the coolest thing we did get today was the swag, aka the chick magnet. Very cool, very cool. So watch out for building streams coming with the building of all these sets. I just now noticed the amazing Bad Batch box art here. It looks very nice on this kind of white greebling box art that they've been doing for a while. 
Anyway, thanks for watching this video as always. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know which one of these you'd like me to build first because I'm looking forward to having some awesome live streams with you guys and I'll see you guys later. This face is gonna haunt me.